Okay, so I made these delicious rolls and somebody already stole one. Sorry. Uh, but we are gonna have some ribeye steaks and so with that, we are going to do some baked potatoes. I told y'all that I like to do them in the air fryer. So I've just washed them really good, put them in here, rub them down with some olive oil and then put some of the salt on them. Why are they good in the air fryer? They are. Because the skin, the best part of the potato gets amazing. Yeah, they they get so crispy on the outside, which I don't like eating potato skin, but Luke does. So he prefers them in the air fryer. So I just do, actually, I think there's a potato. Nope, just kidding. Um, crap. So it's like 30 minutes, 400, it shows the fry setting, which is still potato, but 400 for about 30, 35 minutes. Of course, it's gonna depend on the size of your potato. You just want it to be fork tender, but those are going. And then he's got the ribeye steaks over here. So if you've seen my grocery haul, you've seen that we got that huge half of a ribeye and it ended up giving us, what'd we say? 12 steaks, four meals. 12 steaks, so that's four meals for us. So we froze the rest in um, individual, well, we did like three steaks per package. So we saved some to have for dinner and he seasoned it up with some of this Two Pig Mafia seasoning from Suckle, from Suckle Busters. Their link's always in the description box below. Y'all can go over and check them out. Um, so he's got the grill ready to go. We're just waiting. Um, we kind of are behind on the sides, but I have a whole video on this dough. The, um, I made like a loaf bread recipe. So I'll leave that in the description box. It's my milk and honey bread and it's the same recipe. I just formed it into rolls to have, um, some huge dinner rolls to go with tonight's dinner. So that's it. Okay, y'all it's time to eat. And somebody forgot to video him filming. It's called Southern Wife, not Southern Husband. <laughs> it's a team effort. They like to see the stuff you cook too. No. So we got the ribeyes, the rolls, and then the baked potatoes. Let's see if y'all can hear how crispy. Hear it? Yes, that one. They're so good in the air fryer. Okay, y'all, it is Tuesday night and Luke and I are trying a new recipe. It is like mad crazy going on right now. Uh, I had to get some stuff started before I started filming. One, because this is a new recipe. We haven't actually tried it yet. Um, but for some reason, I have a feeling it's going to be a good one. So I definitely want to film it. So in this one, I have flour and I have cornstarch. In this one, I have two eggs, some pepper, salt, oil, and that's it. So I just beat that up and that's in that one. I've got two pounds. Uh, I am doubling this recipe. I have two pounds of diced chicken that I'm going to be dredging in here and then uh, doing in my flour mixture and then I'm going to be frying it in this oil in my Dutch oven and then this is the sauce that I have got started for the chicken once it comes out so if you haven't guessed already we are making Panda Express copycat honey sesame chicken um, I absolutely love their chicken. It's, it's not, it's only out for like limited times, but whenever we see it, we always go and get it. It is so freaking good. We actually had it a couple days ago. Um, when my mom was here, we went and got it and I was like, I have to find a copycat version of that because it is so freaking good. So this is that the link to the Pinterest, um, the website that I found to go by. I'll have it linked in the description box so y'all can just go straight to it. So this is the honey sesame sauce. So in here we have some honey, we have cornstarch, we have a salt, we have 
water. We've got lemon juice. Did I say soy sauce? We have some soy sauce. We have some of this sweet chili sauce. We have some vinegar. I think I said everything. So it's just coming up to a boil. It's gonna um, simmer and then it's gonna start to thicken because it's cornstarch. And then this is what you will coat your chicken in um, once it is fried up. You want nice and crispy chicken. So it's already smelling so good. Luke is going to fry us up some noodles on the flat top to have with this. So I'm just gonna set the tripod up, pot up. Y'all can see me dredging, frying, and then um, we'll get this going. So I'm excited for dinner. I really hope it's gonna be good. <laughs> Okay, so our sauce is nice and thick. I've got quite a bit of the chicken. This isn't all the chicken. Of course, Winston's not gonna eat it because it's a little spicy. But I'm gonna take and pour some of this over. And then I'm gonna put the lid on it and I'm gonna shake it up. Shake, shake. 
here's what it looks like all coated. Oh, it smells so good. So I got the noodles. And then I made some rice. We've got, this is what we have of the soft chicken. And then here's what we have of the non soft But that's dinner. Oh, almost forgot my sesame seeds. Now it is honey sesame chicken. So I drained my meat. I've got two pounds. I'm doing a play on tater tot casserole meats, shepherd's pie. Put them, them two together. Luke does not like shepherd's pie. He does not like mashed potatoes with the whole veggie meat thing. So I'm going to try tater tots. We're going to give this a try and see if it's a no-go then we just won't do it again. So I've got two pounds of ground beef here. I'm going to add in one can of cream of mushroom. So we've got one can of that. And I'm totally winging this, y'all. Y'all know if you followed me for a while, you know half the time I don't measure. Just a little bit of this, a little splash of that. So now I'm gonna do, I'm just gonna do a half of a package. I feel like a whole one might be a little too much. Half of a package of ranch. You can make homemade ranch. And I'm gonna do some mixed veggies. Just finishing off what I got. certain veggies then just put what veggies you like I'm just gonna keep it simple I just use this mixed bag so I didn't cook these before because I know one in the oven they'll cook and then just with me mixing this um, and I am making this early so I'm just gonna have it ready and then it can go in the oven need be. So now I'm going to add in a browned gravy mix and it calls for one cup of water. So I'm gonna put in the one cup of water. It's gonna make it the gravy. thicken up and 
Um, I did season um, the meat while I was cooking it. I used the complete seasoning, the one I always use, that I love. I'm just going to cover this and let it kind of simmer. It's on low. Clean up my mess and then um, we'll come back and put it in the casserole dish. And get ready to put it in the oven. Now I'm going to top it with some cheese. I couldn't. I tried to decide between shredded and this, and I really think that I want to do the sliced cheese. We all know that the American fake cheese tastes pretty good, so I think I'm going to do this instead of shredded. And then we're just going to top it with some tater rounds and get it in the oven. Here it is out of the oven. I just cooked it at 375 until it was tater tots are cooked through about 30 minutes. Okay, y'all, so I'm sorry I did not film dinner tonight, but I will share what we we're having. Just got some corn on the cob. I cooked this in the microwave. Um, I went ahead and I shucked it. You don't have to, but I always do just because I'm weird and I'm afraid there's like bugs inside. So I always shuck them and then wash them. <laughs> but you just wrap them in a damp paper towel and put them in a the microwave for three minutes per ear. And they came out perfect. So we always do butter and salt. And then I've got some chicken. I just got chicken cutlets. I breaded it with some flour and then some... Tony's just mixed it together breaded it and then fried it in some butter and oil and then I've got some country style gravy we've got some crescents I've shared these many a times I kind of overcooked them a little bit my bad and then I have some mashed potatoes so it's a yummy hearty dinner but I just did not feel like cooking Okie dokie, it is Friday. Thank goodness it's Friday. It was a long week. But I'm just fixing lazy man lasagna. Y'all have seen this all over Pinterest, all over YouTube, I'm sure. So, I've made it before. But, I mean, all you do is you take a bag of frozen, for my version, a bag of frozen cheese ravioli. And then you make your meat sauce. This is just some hamburger meat um, that I'm, got, I'm cooking up. And then I'm going to add my spaghetti sauce to make that and then all i do is layer noodles and cheese and meat sauce i just layer it in a casserole dish top it with cheese bake it in the oven i keep mine as super basic and then we are having these bosco sticks to go with it but that is a quick and easy dinner it would have been a lot faster if i had filled out my um hamburger meat but i didn't so 
got that kind of steaming up to help um, cook that faster. And then we will get all of this together. And that's it, y'all. I hope you enjoyed this What's for Dinner. Don't forget to give this video a big thumbs up. Please comment down below, subscribe if you are new, and I'll see y'all in the next one. Bye, guys.